Hey everybody, this is Tom from SmallScaleGardening.com. It's been a while since we've done a video, so I um, figured I would kick 2015 off with a bang and do a little video here. Uh, thank you for tuning in to the Small Scale Gardening channel. Uh, this is the indoor garden, which uh, if you've been following the blog was really doing well. And then, about a month ago, my last post, um, had an aphid problem and as you can see it has been an experiment in complete failure I, uh, I started treating the aphids with a mixture of soap and water and a little touch of olive oil and some cayenne pepper uh, but then with the holidays and everything just got um, just didn't attend to the garden so you know, we're still growing some lettuce. The spinach just uh, just did not do well, and it died out. And uh, I'll sh I'll give some close-ups here in a minute. Uh, but the lettuce is still going. But today is a good day because it's decontamination day. So all of this stuff is getting taken out and thrown out, and we're restarting. So um, first I noticed uh, some flies and um, and looking closer noticed the bugs and um, started to fight them and then just with everything going on I just kind of left it go and, and it really turned out to be an experiment in an aphid production and you can look here on the video and you can just see all of the aphids all those little bumps are aphids and they love spinach they just went to town and they infected the lettuce I mean all of these are eggs all of these are aphids and they even went into little became little flies and flew around but you can just see the devastation you can see them crawling on the stalk there I mean it's just amazing over here at the lettuce you can see the aphids are actively moving. Look at those guys. Just terrible. And you can see the grown ups there. The larvae, they uh, turn into the little flies. When the colony gets too big, they want to grow. Grow the colony. You can see down there all the eggs, all the white dust. You can even see the kamikaze bombers down here that fell out. There's some flies and some aphids. I mean this is a serious infection. Even aph aphids down here on the uh, on the tray. Just nasty, nasty, nasty. Over here in this other uh, bit of lettuce it's not as bad and maybe I could salvage it but I just want to start over. I want to start over with new soil, new plants uh, that'll grow from seed and just be done with this. So really um, it was really productive, really productive little garden, and it got overrun, and just, it's failure on a number of levels, but uh, it really shows that aphids can go wild if you don't treat them, if you don't take care of business, and uh, it can really destroy your plants. Um, really wouldn't recommend doing this. So, uh, with me getting healthy again, been a little sick, had the holidays, um, ready to start over again. So that's part of the goals here for 2015 is don't do this. Don't let them go wild again. But I would say the soap and uh, water and, and a little bit of oil and cayenne pepper was working quite well. You just have to be diligent and attack it every day and uh, get rid of the aphids before this happens. Now I know uh, other gardeners are having trouble with this. Uh, Amy from Get Busy Gardening has her ebook and she talks about how to get rid of these. She recommends neem oil and some other uh, treatments. And gar uh, growing north up in Ontario or Thunder Bay, she uh, they went and got some predatory insects and added them to the uh, added them to their greenhouse. So they've got uh, <laughs> they've they've taken a little different approach. So. I'm going to get rid of these. I'm going to dump the soil. I'm going to dump the bags. I'm going to keep and just sterilize everything up because I, I have uh, other things I want to grow. 
just decontaminate this whole area and get on with it. So that's tonight's project. I'm also going to do a little blog about this little aphid problem. And, uh, and we're going to go on from here. So lots coming this year. Thank you everyone for tuning in. We've got over 750 uh, followers on, on, on Twitter. We're up to over 70 on Facebook. And uh, thank you for checking into the blog. We'll get some neat blog posts going. We've had a lot of great projects. Here's some of the wine that we made over here. A little dark, but uh, we've got wine that we've made we'll talk about. We've got another carboy, a dragon's blood down here that needs to be uh, bottled up. So, you know, we've got a lot of projects to do yet this year. So there's going to be some great stuff coming. Um, just tune in. You know, even though you might have a little disaster, it's never too late to start over again. Start fresh. It's a new year. So keep tuning in. And let's grow this together. Again, this is Tom from SmallScaleGardening.com, and we'll check you soon.